Selenium for Beginners with Rex Jones II. Next, we are going to look at some advanced CSS selector values. Let's walk through the int child syntax, parent child relationship syntax, and two matching patterns. The int child syntax is a pseudo class used for indexing. A pseudo class is a keyword preceded by a colon and added to the end of a CSS selector. The parent child relationship is all about a direct relationship between elements. We match part of a pattern using a symbol and some of the attributes value. Pattern matching is good for dynamic values. Our first example will combine the int child and the parent child relationship. I'm going to reload the page because I added some more values in this table. We're going to inspect Linda Anderson. Just like with our XPath example, we're going to start with the table tag name. Table has two children, T head and T body. T head forms the header and T body forms the body containing all of the rows and data. TR defines each row and TD defines data in each cell. We write the tag name table, two brackets, attribute name ID equal two single quotes, attributes value result table with a capital T. Now we need T body, which has a direct relationship with table. Table is the parent. Therefore, we write angle bracket T body. Next is the row and Linda Anderson is on one, two, three, fourth row. A child of T body is T aura. So we write another angle bracket, then T aura. Here is the pseudo class int child. We write colon nth hyphen child parenthesis four. Finally, we have the data. Which cell is Linda Anderson? Let's count. The checkbox is considered data in a cell. One, two, three, four. Last, we write another pseudo class for int child. Angle bracket, TD colon, NTH hyphen child, parenthesis four. There it is, Linda Anderson. Know what? You can go to W3Schools for a reference. W3Schools, CSS selectors. Dot class selector. Now let's look at the CSS selectors. Here's a list of many CSS selectors. Our next AUT will be yahoo.com. Let's inspect this sponsored element. We see the U tag has an ID attribute. However, the value for ID is dynamic. It will change after reloading the page. Right now, it ends with 1364. Reload. Inspect again.
and now it ends with 9H5. Therefore, copying the selected value will not work and cause our test script to fail the next time it executes. There are many elements on this page with a dynamic value. How do we find dynamic values using a CSS selector? Our cheat sheet shows some of the symbols for matching a pattern. Starts with every element with a particular substring. Go back to our AUT. We can write the value it starts with. Tag name U, two brackets, ID, carrot symbol, equal, two single quotes, Y-U-I. There it is. We can also match a substring of the attributes value, which is sum of the characters. Replace the carrot with an asterisk. And we still have our element. That's it for CSS selectors and this series that includes the relationship between HTML, Web Elements, and DOM. Using six of the eight Selenium locators to find the Web Elements, create our own customized XPath values, and create our own customized CSS selector values. The cheat sheet and the transcript will be available at tinyurl.com selenium locators for web elements and github at rex jones the second forward slash selenium for beginners online courses coming soon books available in paperback ebook and pdf all part one ebooks and pdf documents are free programming books for uft programming books for java Here's the Selenium Automation Book and Test NG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.